Hello everybody to our today's Janos dialogue and um, today we are talking with one of our change agents and we would like to bring some change agent reflections um, to you. So I'm very happy um, to introduce to you my dear friend Marco. Marco, uh, welcome to our Janos talk and um, please to those who don't know you yet, um, please introduce yourself and share with us what you're doing. Hello, good morning. I'm Marco Clemente. I'm a physiotherapist from PhysioClem in Portugal, in the west region of Portugal. And uh, besides being a physiotherapist and uh, treating people, I also, uh, I'm also a person that is uh, very involved in the community, so making things with the community, for the community, and that's one of my biggest passions. Thank you very much, Marco. Um, so, Janus is about empowering others also to become a change agents, so this uh, leads me to my first question. And my first question is, why and how did you become a change agent, Marco? Thank you. Uh, so in, in the 90s, I studied physiotherapy and, and with that, I started to, to become a, a health professional. So uh, to, to become um, in my spirit to help others. And, and I also had, uh, um, uh, I was entrepreneur uh, from inside and, and soon I, I started to work to, to promote uh, health to, to the others. Um, and in, in 2002 uh, I started a company, PhysioClem, and, and with the growth of the company I had more uh, possibility to allocate uh, resources to, to these actions of promoting a healthy lifestyle, uh, so in the, in the social responsibility of the, of the company. So becoming a change agent, it was something that was g uh, growing up uh, with, with the years, with dedicating to the others, treating them in, inside the clinic and also uh, trying to treat them outside, so in the community. Thank you very much, Marco. Marco, my next question um, is related to what does it need to become a change agent? because. Um, we know being a change agent, that's not a, a task of one person on its own. Uh, it's very often in teamwork, in, in co-creation. Um, so in this regard, what does a change agent need to stimulate co-creation and social innovation? Okay, so uh, for me, I think uh, one of the main things is it's to be very clear about the vision that you have um, for what's what's your mission uh, and have have a lot of motivation to to do the things because it takes a lot of work to do to do this a lot of attention of, of our side and a lot of time to dedicate so it has to be something that it's very important for us and and then be open-minded to to see uh, different possibilities and and beginners minds to try to to, to try things, um, to listen and observe, uh, uh, look to, to the others, um, to try to understand their needs, their real needs, and, and to have a, 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 an entrepreneur spirit, uh, especially a, a social entrepreneur spirit. And I think that's, that's all what you really bring um, to it. Um, Marco, Running a community of practice and being a change agent sometimes is also connected to some um, challenges, uh, I would like to call them. Um, so this leads me to the next question. Uh, what is the biggest challenge you had to overcome so far maybe and how did you resolve it? Please uh, let us learn from you there. Okay, so uh, in the beginning, um so as we had a, a, a new way of, of doing things, uh, for it was a challenge uh, to, to try to, to show the others what we wanted. So, so uh, to make them understand what we had in new um, and to overcome that we had to be persistent uh, and we had to be very, very clear in our communication. 
Um, and then um, one of uh, one big challenge was the time and the attention of the others. Uh, so what I think is that people have lots of, of duties to do, uh, lots of things that distract their attention. And to, um, to overcome that, uh, we had to, to create specific time with them, uh, with, with specific uh, actions, um, so that they, they could be totally dedicated to, to the, the, the action, what we wanted to, to do, to the objective, and to involve them. Uh, for example, in the young people, we, we, um, this took us to, to the project of in the ambassadors to involve them in what we wanted to do. And, and we had before to make some workshops on social entrepreneurship so that they, they had time uh, to think about and give attention to, to what we wanted, uh, what, what they could uh, make to, to help the others. Um, and, and we also had to create some time in the curriculum of the school so that they could have time to stop, think about that and give it attention. So this is one of the, the biggest challenges that we still are leading. Yeah, the, the time issue may be one of the, the biggest challenges uh, in our current society. Um, very, very true. Thank you, um, Marco, for, for sharing this. Uh, I think that's, that's a lot to learn. Uh, and this is something, uh, or one of the challenges uh, which many other ch change agents will also meet um, during their work. Um, Marco, last but not least, um, I would like to ask you one question where it would also be nice uh, a community of practices about sharing knowledge that you share your knowledge um, also in this regard. What is your most important advice to social innovators or change agents for healthy lifestyle? Okay, so um, it's, it's easier to, to work a lot uh, by ourselves. It's not so easy to work with the others. So, what, what I think uh, it's, it's very challenging, but, but uh, it's very, very good and makes the difference. It's to collaborate with the others, work with the others, um, to, to share what, what uh, went well and what didn't went so, so well, to also to stop and realize what, what we already have done, what went well and not went so, so well, um, and not just continuing doing uh, stuff and to focus a lot on, on what we have already built and not just on what we, we haven't already made uh, so that we, could, uh, we can also be satisfied ourselves and not just frustrated to, to, by seeing all the, the things that we, we, we still have to, to, to do. Many thanks, Marco. Um, I think this was uh, really good advice from your side, um, building on what you have. I think uh, that's one of our main principles we've been elaborating together. And um, I'm really looking forward uh, building on what we have established together and um, yeah, continuing working towards that social change with you and with your team. Thank you very much, Marco and uh, hopefully we are speaking soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.